Turnover number 12 for Detroit. The Bucks have 13. Both teams have given up 15 points off the turns. Jennings is hurt. He has rolled an ankle somewhat severely, it would appear. Dudley missing the three. The Bucks are playing five on four. Henson at the basket for a jam, and Jennings is writhing in pain, rolling in pain on the other end, and now play is stopped. I mean, he was flopping all over the place. He is really in pain, and this would indicate, at least by his reaction, perhaps more than a sprained ankle. Yes, it looked like it's pretty severe based on how he's reacting. Brandon Jennings, as we know, is a fairly tough player. I've seen him play through pain a lot when he was here with Milwaukee. Here's what he got a little bit of a push, not much. Oh, and we see. You see that left ankle left flex incredibly. If they win the series with the Lakers second round. Uh oh. Memo's down. That ankle turned as he's trying to turn the corner. Not good. He's, he's holding on to it right now. Not good. It really looked like. And that's his bad Achilles. I felt somebody kick me. I looked behind me. I was like, nobody behind me. And then I tried to get up. I couldn't get up. And they, you know, came and they got me in the locker room. I looked and watched a replay on TV. I was like, nobody behind me. What happened? Then I realized something's not right. I just didn't want to miss and wanted to be out there with my teammates. A whole city holds its breath as Mehmet Okur is helped off the floor. Looks like a wet spot on the floor. And you can see Matthews hits the deck, holding his ankle. And we looked at this again, Marv, during the break. And if you watch the backside of that left leg, see that snap right there? You know, no turn of the foot, which would indicate maybe an ankle. But the fact that you saw that snap around the Achilles area could be major concern for the Portland Trailblazers. On their reserves. Ryan again going to work, falls down. Again, he's struggling. And he's going to stay down there for a bit. Time to massage that left ankle a little bit. Harrison Barnes picks up the foul. Warriors are out of fouls. Lakers have three this quarter as Kobe gets helped up. Well, he's made his last couple of threes. That one was just catching fire. And then his last three to tie the game, just holding it, holding it, and then elevate and score. That's not a bad play. And Kobe needs a, a timeout here as he's uh, having some. Some, some discomfort trying to get to the sideline. Three minutes and eight seconds to play. Lakers trying to come back down by two. And he is hurting. But the Lakers down by two, and they want him and need him at the free throw line. Got it. Yeah, not backpedaling or whatever he has to do to get to the other end. If, in fact, he gets to the other end before a foul, maybe. Made him. Lakers might foul. They might foul to get him out of the game. That's they what have to. Do. Yeah. Kobe's I mean, coming out. Yeah. I mean, that's the Achilles. I mean, I mean, I'm, I shouldn't say that. That's oh, the I foot, a foot injury. Yeah. So Kobe will start the fourth. So if they get a stop here and score, again, they will have the ball to start the final quarter. And they turn it over, and here comes Indiana. 17 seconds, plenty of time. George right at Temple, and a foul will get him into the line with 14.3. And we've got uh, Rudy Gay down in the backcourt. Rudy Gay still has not gotten up. And a timeout taken by Dave Yeager. That foul on Garrett Temple was his second. Rudy just lost his balance there, Jerry. I mean, yeah, yeah I think he just strained something. Do you, you know? Uh, it looked like maybe that's what took him down. He just lost his uh, yep. legs uh, some way. Now watch this. I mean, yeah, right there. I don't know. You don't know what it was, but whether it's a calf or boy, it's the last thing. In the fourth quarter, Chauncey Billups with the up fake can't get the three to drop, and then going for the offensive rebound, he crumples to the court. Appears to come down awkwardly, holding his Achilles. See it from behind now as he goes for that loose ball. Steps wrong on his leg, has to leave the game, and the reports are an Achilles injury. 
Cousins misses. Oh, almost got his own rebound. Big thing right now is just and he not... just got hurt. Yeah. Demarcus Cousins is injured at the other end. Chris Paul fouled, meanwhile, by Davis. And Demarcus Cousins can't go. Oh boy. He's holding that left lower leg area in the area of his Achilles. When he missed the foul shot, he went down in there and was able to go up in the air and hit the ball. It'll be interesting to see what happened after he came down. He's holding the back of his left leg near his ankle. Let's take a closer look at it. Keep a look to the left side right there. I don't know how that happened. Okay, it's uh, you're going to see yeah. him now. He comes right down the middle, and there it is. Now he's okay, right to there, right to there. He grabbed his. Yeah. And he, now he goes down there. The thing is, he didn't hit it. He didn't hit off anyone. Just watch. He he came down. Whether the two feet hit there, all right. And then he made the next move, and you could see he gingerly kept that left leg up yeah. in the air before he hit the floor.